Before I tell you the disgusting facts of this story, let me just make a statement that everybody needs to hear and nobody needs to forget. Freedom has always been God's idea. It's not man's idea. God has always desired that man be free, so much so that when man chose to walk away from God and put himself in complete and total bondage, he gave his son to die on the cross so that we could experience freedom once again. Now, here's the deal with freedom. Freedom goes away when people walk away from God. The more godless a society comes, the less freedom it begins to experience. That's why when you see countries that are sternly communist or socialist, you will never see a prominence of the true and living God in that society. The more and more godless a group of leaders become, the less and less prevalent freedom has become. Case in point, the Biden administration, which is purely inspired by demons and potentially Satan himself, continues to deny people freedom and on three occasions now has even denied the rulings of the Supreme Court. I'm not making this video to get into those details, but I am making this video to tell you that now what the Biden administration is doing, and by the way, let me say, we warned you guys about this. We said this was coming. We said it'd be coming in a lot of forms. At first, the Biden administration was encouraging and even incentivizing family members to turn in other family members who were not following their rules related to this virus. These mandates are completely insane. And so now they're upping their game and they're saying, yeah, we want families to get involved in turning in one another, but you know what? Employees, we want you to turn in your coworkers. Employees, you know what we want you to do? We want you to turn in your bosses. If your boss loves freedom and potentially loves God, well then, You need to turn him in because he's very likely breaking our rules. And folks, understand this. This is an attack on Christianity. This is an attack on people who want to serve God with all of their hearts and want to do the right thing. This is exactly what we're dealing with. And folks, I'm telling you, we cannot tolerate this nonsense. We cannot allow it to be. We cannot ever allow people to continue to force us to march down this road. The only way we are going to be able to overcome this nonsense is if we, the people, resist it. The more godless the society is becoming, the less free we are. And before you know it, the very constitution depicted behind me is gone. It's lost. It's sad, but it's the reality of what we're facing right now. And what we need to do is we need to turn our hearts back to worshiping the true and living God because only that will cause us to understand the value of the precious freedom that's been afforded to us. And then we will despise those who seek to take it away because of the inspiration of their godless hearts. Some people might say, James, you're a pastor. You shouldn't be talking about this. No, I'm a pastor all the more reason to talk about this. Enough is enough. It's time to take a stand, folks, and do not listen to what these people are asking you to do. They want you to do their dirty work so that you can destroy the society and the freedom that you know with now. And if you have the spirit of God living inside of you, you know exactly what I'm talking about because you know that this is the function that comes from a godless society. Enough is enough, guys. It's time for us to take a stand. Guys, let's stand for righteousness. We, the people, must stand for that which God has given us. Enough is enough. Take a stand, you guys. Don't let this happen. God bless you.